What's up guys? Welcome back to another video here. So we are in Maine right now. We're getting all set up to go out and do some fishing this morning. It's looking like a nice top water morning at least to start it off. And then I might try to throw some bigger swim baits if they're biting that type of stuff. The fish are really aggressive here. So they tend to hit bigger baits than most fish. I see I'm in like a shadow. So I'm going to try to be throwing some bigger baits this morning. Hopefully get them on some of those bigger lures and just have a good morning. Y'all stay tuned. Let's get to fishing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's go. We're going to be starting out here with this stutter step. It's kind of like a spook with a big paddle on the end. So when you walk it, it splashes up a lot more water and the fish out here just love it. So I'm going to be throwing it around these pads and reeds up towards these rocks here. See if we can get any off the bat. Oh, just got blown up on. That's first cast right there. I'm just gonna slow down the walking for a second. Kinda let it sit there. Okay, speed it back up. I couldn't get that guy to commit, but there's a bunch sitting out in here, so we'll get another one to come up. We moved over to the other side here. We're trying to stay in the shade as long as we can. There's one. That's a small one, just on the stutter step right there. There he is. Oh, he popped off. He was so small. He was like the same size as the stutter step. But I threw right up against that tree that's fallen in over there. Took a couple twitches and he came up and hit it. But yeah, we moved over to the shade. Uh, the fish like the shade a lot more. I like the shade a lot more. And we're just going to fish these points and reeds up along this side. And then we'll probably move to the islands as it gets later on. Oh, there's one out of the tree. Oh. Oh, get it. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's the first tree fish right there. Nice smaller. What's up, bud? Right there on that stutter step. I was dangling it from the tree right here. This is actually the first fish I've caught dangling something from a tree. So that's been a goal of mine. I didn't think it would happen on a stutter step. I always thought it would happen on a frog. And I didn't think it would be a smallmouth, but I'll take it. It's a long, skinny smallmouth right there. Really aggressive main smallmouth. Love to see it, love to see it. First main smallie of the year. There we go, there we go. There he goes. Oh, he missed it. Yeah, the splash. <laughs> yeah, the hit on that was quite ridiculous. Okay, they're, they're surfacing all over the place behind us. There's a whole like circle of them. I don't get one right here. Oh, there we go. Whoa! I think that's another smallie. The fish are hitting like bait fish all over back here. <laughs> and I just cast it into the circle there with the stutter step. Whew. Look at that guy right there. Hit the back of the stutter step, just twitching it back and forth out in that open water while they were hitting bait fish. Ooh. Stutter step, fish. There we go. Peace, bud. There we go. Oh, that's totally gonna get smoked. Yep. I saw someone coming up behind it right when it landed. He's not that big, but... 
Oh, he came off. That's completely my fault. I just, but they they really hug the shore, especially in the middle of the summer up here in Maine. I tend to catch most of my fish right up along the shore. So I like to cast into pockets right like this, do a couple twitches and they'll usually get hit. Just like that one there. There's one. He's tiny on the swim bait. He hit it right as it landed. Just a little small mouth, I think. Oh, there he goes. But right on that swim bait, he was like the same size as the swim bait. I'm just throwing mostly like white and green pattern baits um, this morning. That top water is also like the same style, green on top, white belly. This is a little darker. Cast it right out there. That smallie hit it right as it landed. I've got a couple of follows, but all pretty small fish. I'm gonna keep casting it. See if we can get any bigger ones. Might switch back over to the stutter step again if we get to some shore areas that look good, but yeah. Vincent's fly fishing here. Oh, yeah, just a little guy right there on the fly, yeah. right in these lily pads. He got one earlier, but he couldn't pull it through the lily pads with a fly rod. It's kind of tough, but he came back, or a different one came back and hit it. Could just have been the same one. a small, I think, cicada. Yeah, that one's a cicada. That's sick. <laughs> I had to pull the stutter stuff back out. The swim bait fishing was a little slow. I had that one small, smally hit it, but other than that, wasn't really getting any bites. So we moved back to this kind of shaded area with some lily pads. And I'm gonna throw the stutter step around, see if we can get any more on this guy. He should be able to do it. He should be able to. Do it. I believe in him. There we go. There's one on the stutter step. Right back in these lily pads. What's up, bud? I threw the stutter step right in by that tree that's fallen down. This guy came up after a couple twitches, just hit it. Got hooked right in the back there by the tail hooks. That's awesome. First largemouth of the day, I think. Look at that. There he goes. My GoPro just died, so pulled out the other camera to do the release of that guy. We're gonna end it there on that fish. My last GoPro battery died while I was unhooking it, so I had to film the release with this camera. But it was a really fun morning, really fun to use top water and catch all my fish on this stutter step right here. This is probably one of my favorite lures to use in Maine. Every time I'm up here, I keep this tied on during my whole trip. It's so much fun to use through the reeds around the lily pads and the fish here are just so aggressive. With that side to side action splashing up water, they come out and hit it. I was throwing it in like the middle when they were feeding on bait fish and then all along the edges, they'll be sitting up there. You throw it, twitch it around and they're gonna hit that thing. So I'll leave it linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. It's a little intimidating and weird looking, but it works really well. If you guys like spooks, these are just like spooks to the next level. They're, they're so much fun to use. Um, but yeah, it was a fun morning. Didn't really get any on the swim bait. Got that one that bit it, but Vincent was able to get some on the fly. That was pretty cool. He got one earlier while I was getting my stuff together at the truck on a mouse fly. And then he caught the one you guys saw on the, what are those things called? Cicadas? Yeah, yeah. On the cicada fry, fly, fry, fly. So yeah, good day, some fly fishing, some top water. It's fun, fun days in Maine. But yeah, it was a solid day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.